Okay, we have here another integral from the MIT integration B2017, problem number 12. We have the integral from one to zero, dx over the square root of x times one minus x. Now, oftentimes when they, in this, when I notice MIT, when they break it out this way, they're usually misleading us. I think in this case, they're actually helping us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factor out this x and I'm gonna bring it, so when we factor it, it'll be x to the one half but I'll bring it all the way to the numerator as x to the minus one half. Okay, so rewriting this, we have our x up here in the numerator. And from here, I want to do a u substitution. Problem I have is if I make the whole denominator here or within the square root, if I make one minus x, my u, then the derivative is just one. I'd like to do a u substitution where I can kind of capture this numerator. I think what's gonna work is if I just take this x, write it as the square root of x, squared, I haven't changed it, but now I think this is gonna be better for my u substitution. So for my u, I'm gonna take the square root of x, which is the same thing as x to the one half. Then taking the derivative, our du is gonna be half x to the minus one half. But essentially, if we add a half here, now we have exactly our du in the numerator, but we'll just put a two out here so that we're, not multi we're multiplying by one and not changing the expression. So then let's make that substitution. We'll have our two out front. We wanna update our bounds. So plugging a one in here, the square root of one is just one and the square root of zero is just zero. So our bounds didn't change. Then next, like I mentioned, we have du in the numerator and in the denominator, we're gonna have one minus u squared. That's perfect because this integral just happens to be arc sine or inverse sine of u, and we just need to evaluate it from one to zero. So first evaluating this at one, sine inverse is one at pi over two, so we're gonna have two times pi over two, minus two, and the sine inverse at zero is gonna happen at zero. So this piece just becomes zero, and we're left two times pi over two, it's just gonna be our final answer, which is just pi. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, have a great day.